This is the Pro Wrestling Report, Primetime TV, the longest-running pro wrestling news program in the world, with your hosts, David Hero and Damian Nelson. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Pro Wrestling Report, Primetime Saturday night. Damian Nelson sitting alongside David Octavius Tiberius, the alleged backyard one-time knockout straight-edge hardcore... Hall of, Hall of Famer, Famer. Hero yes. here on Saturday, May 17, 2014. Thank you for joining us wherever you are, all over the world, and of course, in our home audience here on My24 Milwaukee. Let's get right to this week's big story, ladies and gentlemen, and it's not a good one for the WWE. The sitting WWE World Heavyweight Champion has been sidelined with an injury. This past Monday night on Raw, WWE Champion Daniel Bryan announced that he, has, he was scheduled for neck surgery later in the week. Nerve issue had been previously identified in his neck by the WWE physician. This comes just one month after winning the championship at WrestleMania. While the severity of the injury was unknown at the time, Brian did successfully complete surgery to decompress the nerve root on Thursday. It is unknown when Brian will be back in action for WWE, but he is reported as doing well after the surgery. Typical recovery time for an injury of this type is three months. You can't help but to compare this to the rise and subsequent fall of Dolph Ziggler, who just one year ago won the world title the night after WrestleMania and was then sidelined with a concussion and returned to lose the title on the June pay-per-view. While it would be unwise to expect Brian to compete at Payback in Chicago on June 1st, you have to wonder what this hiatus will mean for Brian, whose stock has arguably fallen since winning the WWE Championship. Now, WWE did announce that there would be a decision rendered on the status of the WWE Championship on Raw this upcoming Monday night. So, the question that's out there is, what will the damage be, and how should WWE handle this situation? Should they strip him of the World Championship? Absolutely, you have to. You have no choice but to take the belt off of Daniel Bryan. And before we go any further, it's not my fault. I oh, the hero curse is your fault. No, not at all. Yes, it is. He, they get on Daniel that Mighty Bryan, Mouse team of yours, and then they are done. Cut, Daniel put, Bryan gone. is a reckless in-ring performer. Look at how many times he did the flying headbutt off the top Stupidest roll. move in wrestling. You don't think that had anything to do with his neck injury? I probably did. I'm sure it had a lot to do with it. He's a reckless performer in the ring. He's all over the place. Is he like a Buick? No. No, no, no. You know, he's just like... He, so he's one of a kind. He is one of a kind. But, you know... I do feel terrible for Daniel Bryan, which I'll talk about more in my DWHS. But uh, you have no choice. If he's out for three months, the belt has got to come off. I mean, you, all, you almost have to say, let's do a tournament. But you just did a tournament for the, for the number what? one contendership for the IC title. But they did not strip Ziggler. Ziggler was out for two months and still kept the World Heavyweight but Championship. But here's why. Because they, it was, it was, they still had the WWE World Champion mm -hmm. and the World Champion. So they could always have a championship title match that meant something right now you have a unified champ that is in a hospital bed healing you need the belt to be at the shows payback though was always going to be and is centered around two matches shield versus evolution and triple h i'm sorry and uh cena versus wyatt Daniel Bryan was going to play a, as oh, you said, so third or fourth so level what you're role. you're saying now is Daniel Bryan isn't a top guy? That he's, he won't be in a, involved in a top match? I did say just a moment ago that his, uh, his stock has arguably fallen since becoming it champion. It has fallen. And it's a terrible arguably. thing. Yes. That's how you can get out of it later. Oh, is it? You should learn that. Yeah. I, like arguably. To argue. I like to argue. I'm the spoken word. You're saying they should strip him? Absolutely. You have to. You have no choice. You know what, because the fans are in three months or four months when he comes back, he'll have all the big, you know, fireworks and ballyho and the whole thing. Here comes return Daniel Bryan, and he can chase after that guy. But here's the interesting thing. Who do you put the belt on? Oh, Cody Rhodes, obviously. Do you know who I put it on? Cody Rhodes, yeah. Makes some sense. He had a big win on Raw I Monday let Brock Lesnar become the champ. What? Shut That's, your mouth. What did you talk about, Willis? He just defeated Undertaker. I don't know if, I hadn't even heard that. That Brock Lesnar ended the streak yeah, at WrestleMania? Yeah, Brock Lesnar did I that. I didn't hear that on Monday. I heard no. it on Friday. So Brock Lesnar... On a Tuesday. ...let him become the champ, and then... So you, know, you want Eric Bischoff to come out and present the championship to Brock Lesnar, a la Triple H. You can't do that, because Triple H can't present it to Brock Lesnar. You have to have maybe a fatal four-way. 
you pick four guys. You know what you do? You have Sheamus in there because he's the U.S. champ. You have Wade Barrett because he's the IC champ, and pick two other guys. Cody. You can't. And have, who else? Cody hasn't had no. no. And, you, and 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 you, maybe you put Cesaro in there and one other, and then the winner of that match is the new WWE World Champion. Because you have to reward the secondary title holders. You do. That's only if you strip them of the title. So let's say they don't. What? They're going to. You have no choice but to do Let's that. say they don't. Then what? Well, How do we bridge the gap for the next two, three months while Brian is out with injury? Now, not. just because he, he can't be physical, perhaps he can still be on the pro programs. Wheelchair, cane, no, stage. You, you, can't, you can't. You can't do that to him. Because he's already vulnerable to begin with. Now he's extremely vulnerable. And then he'll be made out to be more weak. And then, you know, you know Brie Bella's not going to care. She's too busy with other things going on. It's a terrible spot to be. I would hate to be Daniel Bryan and their creative team right now. Well, we'll hear more about Daniel Bryan and specifically your thoughts on Daniel Bryan later in DHS. In the meantime, we're going to take a time out, ladies and gentlemen. When we come back, it's this week's WWE Report. This is the Pro Wrestling Report primetime on My24 Milwaukee. Follow us on Twitter for breaking news, live wrestling chat, and pure hilarity. Head over to twitter.com slash PWR show and be part of the conversation. Who do you trust when buying your jewelry? Brad Yolberg here, and I can tell you at Robert Hack Diamonds, we will treat you fair and like family. We have thousands of diamonds in stock, thousands of pieces of jewelry, and prices from under $50 to over $50,000. Come to Robert Hack Diamonds for a relaxed and enjoyable jewelry buying experience. Shop around before you buy. Robert Hack Diamonds is located at 76 in Layton and Greenfield, and our new location on the corner of Green Tree and Port Washington Road in Glendale. Come to Robert Hack Diamonds. Congratulations, Dave and Damien, for 16 years on the Pro Wrestling Report. Keep rocking. Welcome back, fans, to the Pro Wrestling Report primetime here on My24 Milwaukee for Saturday, May 17, 2014. Damian Nelson sitting alongside David Hero, and it's time to roll on in to this week's WWE Report. I still haven't found my trophy. So you still haven't found what you're looking for? I still have not found. Last time I saw it, it was next to those droids. Your trophy? You know, it was expensive, and I really wish you'd return it. Well, on, uh, let's start with Raw this past Monday night, and we talked about it a little bit yesterday on Feedback Friday online at pwrshow.com, but a little bit of uh, some speaking out and some acting out from both Damian Sandow and Alicia Fox. Both occurred earlier in the week on WWE programming on the app, the second screen experience of WWE Raw. However, Sandow would do it again last night on SmackDown where his mic was specifically <clears throat> cut again. Now... Uh, some would say, one would say, reports are saying that this is being done to draw more attention to the second screen experience, the network, the app, things the of that what nature. Screen but experience? Second screen. The second screen gotcha. experience. Uh, but Sandow and Fox, two interesting talents to pick. Sandow, definitely a bone to pick. Former Money in the Bank winner and now sort of uh, uh, into recluse, if you will. And Alicia Fox, same thing, former Divas champion. Both underutilized talents. Both talents that can be used to draw money. I mean, Sandow was one of the guys last year. You're welcome. He was fantastic. And Alicia and Fox, I, of all the divas that are there right now, you know, that Paige is a young star in the making. Well, she's about the right age. Uh, 21? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she is. But uh, Alicia Fox, is, you know, she, she's a tremendous in-ring talent. It just hasn't been used. She, Alicia Fox should have been on the Divas TV show. There's no question. Seriously, you don't think so? Damian Sandow is a tremendous talent. Great talker. A great, great talker. Performer. And it's rare that such a great talker is not put in a more prominent role because that's sometimes more important than their in-ring ability. But nobody's being put in a prominent role right now in WWE. You got five guys and everyone else after that is all in the same spot. It's a lot of french fries. It is. A big bag full of them. Sheamus defeats Ryback and Curtis Axel in two matchups this past Monday night. I did not like that. Really? I didn't like it at all. I, don't, I, I missed the reason for the double, the double shot, if you will. First of all, if Curtis Axel is out there and Ryback is out there with their partner against Sheamus, Sheamus shouldn't beat him. 
because there should be shenanigans outside the ring. The two heels should do something to cheat to win to make sure that Sheamus, Sheamus can win by disqualification. He can win by countout, but he should never win by clean pinfall for both guys. And he did this past Monday night. Sheamus looking strong. He did, and, it, and part of me wanted to see Ryback become the, the champ. I could, mm. I could see him as the U.S. champ. You know, it's interesting. If you look at the ratings over the last three weeks, two weeks rather, for WWE Raw, and this past week it was the lowest rating of the year for Raw uh, with 4 million uh, viewers, just over 4 million viewers. Now, who are you going to blame that on? Lowest rating of the year for Raw? I'll blame Daniel Bryan. I'm sure you are. Uh, but the Shield has been he's part the of champ. the two highest got, rated He's segments. responsible. Okay, so let's pick which one matters. Is he the champion who is the prominent piece of programming, or is he the champion who is third or fourth down the line, thus contradicting your prior statement? I'm not, I, I'm not, but he's the champ. He is the flagship. He is the main guy. He's the main focus piece, but he's not being used properly. Right now, the Shield is the top entity on Monday Night Raw. I think it helps that they're up against Batista, Orton, and Triple H, who oh, are really? some of the top absolutely. stars in wrestling. Yes, it is, absolutely. But you have to define an era by their champion. People say business was down when Kevin Nash was the champ. It was. Okay, so it's his fault, right? By so that argument? if ratings are down on Monday night, lowest in a while, Daniel Bryan's fault. It's like the president. Absolutely. Takes the blame, never the praise. No matter who oh, it is. This president takes a lot of praise. <laughs> <laughs> who are you kidding? Well, it's all well deserved. Oh, sure it is. Uh, Adam Rose, it's, uh, we're a couple weeks into this now. David Hero, you don't like Adam Rose? Is it getting any better for you? I don't, I'm not a fan of the whole. You're just upset you've not been invited yet. Yeah, you want to be part of the, I the Express. I don't want to be a Rosebud. I mean, I would. You listen, play Hunger Hungry, Paul? Let me, uh, first of all, I think the Super Friends are far more powerful than the Rosebuds. I think the Alcoholics, Al Snow's followers, I even think the Nelson family has a bigger presence than the Rosebuds. I just put you over. I don't need you to put me over. <laughs> Lana, oh Lana, oh Lana, won't you marry me now? And Rusev. Confirmed. He is a stud. Hacksaw Jim Doug, he broke that two by four right he across did. his leg there. And I'm telling you, Rusev is a cross to me between the physical beast of Ted Arcidi Ted Arcidi, go watch on the network. He's on there. And the magnificent Don Morocco. The Rock. No, Mag the original no, Rock. No, 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 no. Oh, yes. the magnificent. The magnificent Don Morocco because he was a technician. Over on SmackDown last night, John Cena accepts Bray Wyatt's challenge for a last man standing match at Payback. And we hear John Cena saying reference Bray Wyatt that he's got no pearls in his pants. He's got no pearls in his pants. Okay. That's what happened on SmackDown. Well, that's just... Of course, that's not as important as Cody walking out on Goldust. Cody getting a big win on Raw this past Monday night. However, the tag team of Cody and Goldust lose on SmackDown last night, and Cody but that's how left you, on his but own. But that's how younger brothers are. They get upset, and they get all pissy about certain things, and... Batista cheats with a low blow to beat Dolph Ziggler and then destroys him with several Batista bombs at ringside. What does this mean for Ziggy? <laughs> Got to win Monday night as well. Actually, did he? Uh, Dolph Ziggler. God. He's become Zack Ryder. No shield on SmackDown last night. Well, you, you can't give him a shield all the time. Can't be Christmas every day. Can't be, no. Uh, main event this past Tuesday, a bit of a unique situation as Cesaro and Heyman did appear on that show but did not appear on Raw this past Monday night. Apparently a deliberate act by WWE driving more to the network. And we'll talk more about that later on. I don't know if I like on. that idea. I don't know if uh, th that's a good idea. Or to the app, rather. Because you have people that are advertising on Monday Night Raw. And now you're telling your audience to go to the app and not watch the commercials. They're in a pretty pickle, is WWE, and we'll talk later about their new television deal that they signed with NBC Universal and some bad news about the WWE Network. But before that bad news, it's time for this week's hot news. See what I did there? Ooh, nice transition. Well I'm good. Done, I'm good at this. Broadcast journalist. And it's uh, time for this week's hot news, brought to you by Cellucor, featuring products that maximize every training session, helping you get the gains you're looking for faster 
than a speeding bullet. Head to CellioCore.com and enter the code PWRSHOW at checkout. Get 20% off your entire order. I gotta say, I just took delivery on some new, see what I'm doing there, flexing? You're some new CellioCore uh, products the other day. Are you and gonna enjoy the competition continues? I've been in the competition since it started. Have you? Yes. I, I haven't seen any of your gym selfies. That's the purpose. You know, when you see it, you're all just gonna concede. You're Brian, going to. Brian Hebner is now in the competition. Yeah, he's just a baby, there's no competition. Oh my God. He's Baby Hebner. He is right down the middle, Baby Hebner. TNA President Dixie Carter announced that Quentin Rampage Jackson will be returning to Impact. Oh, there you go. In a tweet, in a tweet sent out on Thursday, Carter says, and I quote, sounds like at Rampage for real, is ready for the Bellator 120 pay-per-view and to come back. What if he gets knocked out at the pay-per-view? To Impact Wrestling. Then he's damaged for TNA Impact Wrestling. It is unknown when Jackson will appear again on Impact. Don't you think? That could be bad. If he gets knocked out. I'm not sure it'll matter at the end of the day. Are you saying nobody watches it? Bellator? Yeah. I'm not familiar with their ratings. Oh, okay. It's a pay-per-view. Do you watch it? Of course I do. <laughs> it's fighting. That's it for this week's Hot News, folks. Presented That's all by you got? The whole week? Salyukor, who helps you maximize your workout and your life. We'll be right back in just a few moments, ladies and gentlemen. We're talking about TNA and some big news on some big releases from that company. And also, this week's Diamond of the Ring. This is the Pro Wrestling Report Prime Time on My24 Milwaukee. If you've been hurt in a car wreck, the insurance company may try to stop you from getting what's fair. After my car wreck, the insurance company tried to stop me from getting what was fair. I called Gruber Law Offices. Be careful. Call us right away. They better be careful. Now I've got Gruber Law Offices. Call us. Let us get started on your case right now. They green-lighted my case and got me $100,000. Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. Call 276-6666. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Pro Wrestling Report Prime Time Saturday night here on My 24 Milwaukee. David, you know, spring is in the air here on May 17th. It feels it's dang 37 good. 37 degrees. It's not, there's no spring in the air. You've got to believe. You know, that you whole have to global believe. warming nonsense. I wish it would be global warming. It was warming 85 now. degrees a couple of days ago. These swings in temperature, yes, are a direct result of global no, it's not. warming. Please. Why won't you believe? that we as a planet have gotten one degree warmer. Do you know why we have? There's more people here. More people are breathing. That's just in China. Well, yeah, but you don't think that it all carries over? It's time for this week's TNA Impact Wrestling Report. And uh, well, some names are gone from TNA, including some mainstays in the company. Former champion among them, a former recent champion among them. Uh, Kazarian, gone. Hernandez, Gone. Chris Saban. Gone. All confirmed to be released uh, or not course, renewed. You know, Daniels was gone a few weeks ago. By TNA Impact Wrestling. Now this, of course, on top of the recent departures of Sting, AJ Styles, Hulk Hogan, and many more. Now the company currently is said to have around 30 talents under contract in total, which is down from the near 60 or so one year ago. What do you think is going on here, David Hero? Well, clearly they're in a rebuilding phase. No, We've they've been promos. hemorrhaging money for so long. You know, it's, just, it's what it is. It is what it is. That's I mean, true. when your house show business draws, Let's shoot, folks. When your when your house show business draws between four fifty and eight hundred people, and you have you know twenty thousand dollars in talent on the show, unless you're in a Racine, which was a near sellout, it, it's it's hard to make money. And uh, so you're saying the financials just don't work. No, not P and L, the profit and loss, just there's doesn't no work. There's no profit. Dixie Carter would argue that the company is profitable. She For would know. Her, she's getting paid. <laughs> you know, but but let's at the Waldorf Astoria. But, you know, but let's face it. I mean, there's been reports that the crew hasn't been paid, and they're going to walk out of the last set of TV tapings until they got paid. Checks had to be cut at TV to keep people happy. That's not healthy. That's not a good business plan. You know, you're smirking. It's the truth. That's you know? why I'm smirking. Yeah. And uh, it's a shame because TNA does have some good in-ring talent. Can we be real for a minute here? If TNA stops trying to be WWE light, L-I-T-E, not, not even a G-H, then they have a chance. If well, they, they continue they trying to be they... WWE light, then they don't have a snowball's chance in hell of continuing on. Now, we've sat here on this program and said that they can't, they won't, and they have. So we've been wrong. However, the mimicking 
which is not deliberate, I don't think, on their part. It's deliberate. It the has mimicking to be deliberate. has to stop. It has to. I mean, the Daniel Bryan MVP, Daniel Bryan MVP, the Eric Young MVP is what we saw on Raw before WrestleMania. MVP is the what? Director of Operations. Kane's the what? The Director of Operations. I mean, it's just, they have so many, so many great talents. Rockstar Spud, one of the best talents in the business today. Ethan Carter, who, by the way, great promo on Impact uh, this past Thursday. Mm -hmm. Great talent. They have such great, Bobby the bromance, Rude, great talent. Bromance. Bobby Roode, Bully Ray, Mr. Anders. They have great talents. The but what can you do with 30 people and two hours of TV every week? A lot. You can do a lot with that. But you have to, it has to make sense. Well, I, when I watched Impact, Kazarian's on his way out. Why was he made to be a star in that match? Why was the music on for the whole Get match? over the menagerie. Get them over as, as the gimmick. I don't know if I see that happening. It will happen. You see it happening? I do, yes. That crowd in Orlando, well, now they're going to oh, New York. Oh, please, they were asleep. That crowd in Orlando needs it. They should have started over. That crowds in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. It's going to be great, yeah. And in New York. It's going to be great. Is going to dictate the next six They've months. They've got to do something big at those tapings. They've got to do something huge, monstrous, humongous, as you would say, David Hero, at those tapings in New York. No, I would say humendous. I They've got to do something earth-shattering, never been seen before, buzzworthy at those tapings in New York. Can they pull it off? I don't know. I think the answer is yes, can they pull it off? Yes, they can. Will they pull it off? I don't know. I don't know. Well, they do still have a solid roster, folks, but who is the star? I mean, Kurt Angle seems to be on the way out. Injury is going to keep him sidelined until his contract expires. Kurt Angle expires. is not going to be back in a TNA ring. And he has been very vocal about his WWE return. You will see Kurt Angle at a GLCW show before another TNA show. Bobby Roode is a star. In yes, that he is. Company. MVP he really is a star. Is. Jeff, okay, Willow. And that's a whole other. Willow is better as Willow than Jeff Hardy was as Jeff Hardy. Are you I okay? enjoy the Willow promos better than Jeff Hardy ever talking. Really? Yes. Well, uh, you're talking promos, but again. Jeff Hardy Jeff has Hardy, embraced the character of Willow like never before. But is Willow selling as many armbands and as many shirts and as many merchandise pieces as Jeff no, Hardy was? Are, so are, thus are making it up. not I'm a good business decision. Jeff Hardy, he's, they still sell all of his merch at the shows. It's still being sold. It's still being sold. Yes. But. But what? I mean, merchandise is so important. It you is very important. Last week. But we're talking about TNA. They don't sell a lot of stuff to begin with. That's this week's Impact Wrestling Report, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to leave that exactly where it is. And, uh, folks, I want to make sure you know about a segment we did last week, The Greatest Ever. It was a, it's a summer series, and we debuted that segment last week. It was met with a great deal of your comments and thoughts. And due to the, the success of that segment, we are pleased to announce that The Greatest Ever will now be airing as a separate show a standalone? each week, a standalone, if you will, at pwrshow.com, currently scheduled to broadcast on Wednesdays. Now, you can also go right now to pwrshow.com and vote in the latest category for the greatest ever. And this week, we're going to be looking at who is the greatest wrestling manager ever. So let your voice be heard. Head on over to pwrshow.com now to vote for your favorite, and we will share your feedback and thoughts next Wednesday on the greatest ever at pwrshow.com and on our YouTube channel. So with that, folks, it's time to find out who this week's Diamond of the Ring is. David Hero, take it away. This week's Robert Hack Diamond of the Ring is the lovely and talented Alicia Fox. Yes, Foxy is back, wrestling fans, and she showed fire, grit, and determination by tearing up the ringside area and stealing JBL's cowboy hat. This week's Robert Hack Diamond of the Ring, the place where they pay cash for gold, is the former WWE Divas champion, Alicia Fox. Makes me very happy. I love Foxy. We'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen, talking about WWE's new TV deal and this week's DWHS and the Event Center. The primetime continues after this. Visit our friends over at ProWrestlingTees.com for the latest and greatest wrestling t-shirts at awesome prices. You can also find the official PWR shop where you can get the all-new Nelson Family or the Super Friends shirt as well. ProWrestlingTees.com is your home on the web for the most unique and entertaining wrestling tees.
Daniel Bryan had neck surgery on Thursday, maybe out of action up to three months. I can't think of any WWE superstar that has had more of a trying and difficult run after winning the championship. First, The Undertaker loses at WrestleMania, Ultimate Warrior passes, he gets married, his father passes, then goes into a program where Kane destroys him only to wind up having neck surgery. The Yes movement is stalled for right now, but what I find most disturbing is that his beautiful wife Brie Bella has yet to show any real emotions while her husband was stretchered out. If your own wife cannot shed a tear for you being destroyed, then how can the general audience be concerned about you? I've always said that perception is reality. And with that, David Hero has spoken. Welcome to the PWR Event Center, brought to you by Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. Of course, yes, I'm sitting in for Linda, who I unfortunately had to suspend last week due to her lack of loyalty to this broadcast. We'll see if she's back next week. GLCW returns to Circle B in Cedarburg, Wisconsin on June 20th for Calapalooza 2. Tickets for the show, which will feature Armando Estrada, Shockwave the Robot, and more, start at only $10 and are available right now at blizzardbrawl.com. PWR is bringing Sweet and Sexy to Los Angeles for SummerSlam. And tickets are moving very, very fast, so don't miss out. Order yours now at pwrshow.com and see SummerSlam in style with myself and this guy. That's it for this week's Event Center, brought to you by Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. Linda. What? Linda. Seriously, hey. I know, I know, I just, yeah. She's where's the, where's the trophy? I gave her the night off. I and we're on it. television. I understand by the way. that, but I pay a lot of money for that trophy. And you can suspend her all you want, but I need my trophy here. <laughs> well, you're not. Clearly, what could she do about it? Buy a phone. She did, doesn't know where it is. Did you take it with you? Anyways, folks, it's time for uh, this week's in depth. All right. And uh, as we talked about earlier, all right, WWE has reached an agreement, a new broadcast agreement with. Uh, she doesn't know where it is. She knows where everything is. WWE has reached an agreement to continue to broadcast WWE Raw, SmackDown, and Total Divas for the next few years. WWE announced on Thursday that they've reached a multi-year deal with NBC Universal to continue airing their programming after months of speculation that WWE might be forced to sign a deal with another network. While terms of the deal have not been announced, it is seemingly uh, not quite worth what WWE thought it would be. The deal, reportedly worth an additional $40 million in annual revenue, falls short of the claim that they would at least double their television rights fees with this new deal. The company has also revised its 2014 business outlook to reflect a net loss for the year. Part of this loss is attributed to the cost of the WWE Network and having fewer than expected subscribers for the network. In fact, WWE has now stated that they need nearly 1.5 million subscribers to achieve the profits they expect. This explains why you've seen so much exclusive content on the network and the referral specials that were recently announced. But there is good news for TNA in this whole deal. It was thought that WWE could move from uh, or to the Viacom family of stations, one of which being Spike TV, which is a former home of WWE and the current home of Impact Wrestling. While Impact Wrestling still has yet to sign a new deal with Viacom, this keeps the door open for a renewal of that deal that is set to expire in October. So, WWE stays on in its current home with three hours of Raw and two hours of SmackDown and one hour of Total Divas each week. Is this overall a win or a loss for WWE, David Hero? Well, I think... It's a win because they did get more money than what they originally had. Yes. So if you look at it that we way, We think. Yes. Here's what they've done. They've said they're going to make an additional, uh, I think, $60 million or $90 million uh, on their television rights fees this year. However, they lumped in a deal in India and a deal in the U.K. and some other deals as well. So it's difficult to completely ascertain what the what? amount increase is. We know it's not half. Or the near billion dollars that I think NASCAR or the NHL just signed. What hurts the WWE is the network that more than one person can sign in. Unscrupulous individuals can steal, yes. And that's what happens. So maybe 15% of that number is unscrupulous. It's like sharing Netflix, which I don't understand. A lot of people do that, by the way. I, and I just don't... See, I was raised right by my mother, Valerie Nelson, and I know... Right and wrong, and no, it's wrong to steal. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm very proud of you. That's, and Mrs. Nelson did a tremendous job. How are they going to get to, how are they going to double, over double their subscriber base? When they go base? worldwide. 
That is such a great point. Not available in Canada, not available in the UK. India, is the WWE China. network at this point. And uh, that is a tremendous point. But a point they're not making. You would think that such an obvious point would be such an obvious thing to point out. But they haven't done that. Not yet. You know why? Because now that the stock is low, they'll go back and buy more. And then when they Are you go, alleging trickery? I'm alleging I'm shenanigans. And then when they go international and then it pops, then they can sell it at a triple the value. Bro, it's well, business. Three hours of raw. It's probably the worst part of that deal. But uh, be that as it may, we get to endure that on a weekly basis going forward. David, that's it for this week's uh, PWR Primetime Television. And we'll be back Wednesday we'll be online. Back. We better have my freaking trophy. You know, I... I, I I did see it recently. It's I just don't remember where. It's four feet tall. How does it just disappear? That's Linda. Hold on. I bet she found it. For that one, Linda. this is Damian Nelson. Ladies it? and gentlemen, we'll see you Wednesday for the greatest ever. And no. then again here on My 24. Look around me. Saturday for PWR Show, PWR Prime Time. We'll see you then. I don't see it. <laughs>